What's up guys, your girl Jenny Alvittles here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make these very juicy, tender, and flavorful honey garlic steak bites. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I have my sirloin here. As you can see, this is um, turning darker red, so that means this needs to be cooked today. And then also, this is kind of a cheaper cut of beef, so that means I am going to be using sugar marinade because I am trying to tenderize this meat as quick as possible. I'm going to cube this and come back and show you what it's going to look like before I put my sugar in. Okay, I've got my meat all cut up. And as you can see, I have about one inch cubes that I have here. Now I'm going to put about a fourth of a cup of sugar. And that's it. I'm going to let it marinate in the fridge for about two hours. And for those of you who are complaining about you don't like sweet meat, just follow along. Trust the process. Okay. I'm going to mix this in and when we come back after it's marinated, the sugar will have dissolved. While our steak is in the fridge with the sugar scrub, we are going to come in and make our marinade that we're going to marinate for about an hour. We're going to come in with about three to four tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're going to come in with a tablespoon of each of these seasonings. So we're gonna start off with our McCormick Brazilian Steakhouse Bomb. If you haven't tried it, go ahead and get that. Then next up, we have our Montreal Steak Seasoning. Also delicious, 25% less, so less sodium. And you know who else has a low sodium spice? Niger Grill, go over there and get that. Okay, we also have a 21 Season Salute by Trader Joe's. I have a little of the roasted garlic and herb left from um, McCormick's Grillmate, and I'm just gonna use the rest of that. And then lastly, I have about a pinch left of the Grillmate Smokehouse Maple that I'm also going to put back in here as well. And then we're gonna mix this all together. This will be our marinade we're gonna pour over our steak. Okay, our meat has been marinated in that sugar for about two hours now. And as you can see at some of the bottom here, just pulled some of the moisture down, making this meat so much more tender. Perfect for our marinade. <laughs> I'm gonna come in now with my marinade, pour this all over. And then I'm gonna give this a mix and let this vibe out in the fridge for at least an hour. All right, our meat has had time to marinate, and now it is time to cook up. Now that our skillet is ready, into a searing hot cast iron, we are going to cook for a few minutes on each side until we get a char. Okay, we look just about finished of where we're going to stop cooking them. We're going to take them off the heat. This is what these are looking out straight out the pan. Now we're going to put our second batch right into the same pan. In the same pan that we just finished cooking our steak in, we are going to come in with a stick of butter. We are going to be making our little garlic butter sauce to pour on top of our steak. Make sure your fire is down very low. You don't want to burn your butter. Yes, those remnants from the bottom of the pan will come up as well. Okay. Okay, now that our butter is almost finished being melted, we are going to start to season. I'm going to come in with one tablespoon of minced garlic. Do it fresh if you can. Between two to three tablespoons of honey, depending on your sweetness level, I'm going to use about two. Gonna come in with a squeeze of lemon juice. And lastly, just a little sprinkle of lemon pepper. Let's mix this all together. This deliciousness is gonna go on top of our tender steak. Okay, right, now we wanna pour our sauce over our steak. Okay, time to plate it up. We have homemade mashed potatoes and a homemade mushroom gravy. We're going to come in with our mushroom, or <coughs> mushroom steak bites. 
They look delicious, tender, juicy. Okay, and then you got your finished result. Make sure you guys like, share, follow, repost. Tell everybody we got heat over here. Enjoy.